talk about mobile photography and videography. We've got awesome tools in our hand these days. Let's talk about some of the ways to extend their capabilities. got a couple of different options on the table and it's an easy choice if you just want something that's going to stabilize your phone. This is the Mi Photo Sidekick 360 Plus. We included this in our gift guide. I'll link that right below if you want to watch more. But the quick highlights, it's really well made. The bottom is actually an Arca Swiss compatible plate making it easy to attach to one of the more popular tripod standards or you can use the tripod screws. It offers a great degree of flexibility and you can crank it down to really hold your phone. And very importantly, it doesn't block access to any parts of the screen and it's very lightweight. This is the Plus model made only for larger phones. They sell a version for smaller phones as well. Now the one downside I could see is if you buy one version and later you change sizes of your phone, you would need to buy the other version. Now, buy the next device, the ReadyCam XL, and you're all set. It fits phones from 2.75 inches all the way up to 3.6 inches. No worries about phone size changes. This is also very well made, but much simpler in construction. Basically, it's a large gripper. You need to provide a tripod head to add any angle or rotation. Now, my biggest annoyance with the ReadyCam, it overlaps the screen a small amount. When I'm shooting with the LG G4, LG V10, it actually blocks access to those touch buttons I need in the manual camera. Total deal breaker for me. But if you've got an app with buttons elsewhere or you have a phone with a giant bezel, you'll be just fine. There's a cheaper option that's similar to the ReadyCam. This uses a tension spring. This is actually what was provided with the gimbal that I recently reviewed. Now, I don't love putting my phone in or out. Mostly I feel like I'm about to get my fingers pinched as I'm pulling my phone back out and it slams down. But then again, I am a bit of a sissy. It also feels like its lifespan is gonna be significantly shorter than the others as it is a complete plastic construction and the spring just sounds kind of crummy in there. But for now, it has held my phone very securely and that is one of the most important features. Moving on to another category that also will stabilize your phone. That's the cinema mount. This gives you the ability to add in additional accessories like mics, lights, or maybe even attach a filter to the front of your lens. It also provides a tripod slot, though I'm annoyed at how off-center this one is. It too uses a tension spring to hold your phone and it's adjustable to match up with your camera or phone. It came with additional lenses that I found to be just okay. They're kind of fun to use, a macro and a wide angle, but quality isn't great. But one thing that that did give me the ability to do is put on those additional filters. Though again, I was slightly annoyed that I always had to be shooting through those extra bits of glass. So I removed the lenses, but can screw them back on if desired. The big benefit of this is that ability to attach filters, circular polarizers, ND, and you know, without shooting through their glass, you don't have a good option here. So I'd probably be better off with something like these little smart clips instead, though their reviews don't really inspire too much confidence. If you like the cinema mount, but wish you had more hot shoes, consider something like the iographer's device. I do believe this one is Apple only, but it does provide two hot shoes and a tripod mount on the bottom and side of the device. There are a few additional companies coming to market with similar devices that cover a wider range of phones, including Android. That's a quick look for several options for increasing your mobile photography tools. If you plan to purchase anything mentioned in this video, I'd appreciate it if you use the links below. That's a free and easy way to support the work we do on this channel. If you like this video, take a moment to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to enter our giveaway, an amazing Tanzanian safari all the details are at photorec.tv slash giveaway, also linked below, linked right here, linked after the video. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.